Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see an alert dialog box in Google Apps Script. So basically, this alert is a normal dialog box which shown to the user and which conveys some message. For example, uh, a user add a button here and uh, there may be a chance that user may unknowingly click this button. So if that button gets clicked, then all the scripts will get executed. So in order to avoid that, we can put an alert with two questions whether yes or no do you want to run the script and when the user click on yes we can run the script otherwise when the user click on no we can just simply ignore this so this is a simple example for alert and let's see about an alert in google app script so i'm opening a new script editor to open a script editor go to tools and script editor so the new script editor will open here and name this project as alert dialog box and i have created a function alert box so we can see alert is belong to an UI class. So we have to use, let's say I, I'm declaring a variable as such, get UI. So I'm getting a method UI to access the alert. So if you use as such dot alert, we can see that this alert contains three different argument. One is a prompt and another one is prompt as well as button. Another one we can add title, prompt and button. So let's see one by one. So I'm, I'm going to display some random message to the user. Let's say hello. Let's execute this and see how it works. And if you see that an user can see a pop-up alert dialog box with the statement hello. So this is a very simple alert box and as we already saw this alert contain alert prompt as well as button set so prompt we can uh, give whatever message we want to give let's say do you want to proceed do you want to add or something so let's put some value here to and four and we want to display the results here so in order to do that we need access to this spreadsheet and this two cell so let's get that one So I am getting access to this sheet by its name. So I am just giving a name here where I am declaring a new variable num1 and I am assigning the value which is present in the a2 to this num1 variable sheet1 dot get range. So this is in range second row of first column second row of first column dot get value so this return the value present in the cell a2 this sheet 1 dot get range 2 comma 1 dot get value return the value which is present in the a2 and similarly i need to get the value b2 as well i'm just copy pasting this again i'll name this variable as num2 and this belongs to column 2 okay so now let's put a button here so as such one in order to display a button you have to use sh that is you have to use method get ui and sh dot button set dot what is the button you want to display you can choose it here yes no or cancel yes or no so i want to display a button yes or no here so just save the script and run the script now you can see do you want to add with yes or no let's make it clear do you want to add those two numbers now let's execute and see do you want to add those two numbers yes or no so when user click on yes we want to add this two number and display it in c2 no just simply ignore so in order to get the response we have to assign these to a variable let's say response 
and we can use an if condition to check the response response equal to as such dot button dot so we have to use we, we should not use a button set to in order to get the response we should use button followed by what is the button name so when the user click on yes then an addition of these two numbers should be displayed that is sheet one dot get range this belongs to second row of third column sorry third column dot set value we have to give the addition of two numbers num1 plus num2 so now let's execute and see how it works so now it is showing an alert dialog box do you want to add those two numbers with yes or no option when i click on yes you can see that the addition is displayed here let me delete this one and click on I'll run the script once again when i click on no no response because we didn't give any response to the no button and it just simply ignore that so this is an another type of alert with prompt as well as button and one more type as we saw we can add a title at the very first argument what are the title we, we want to add we can add that so i'm just adding addition let's say addition you should put the title inside the double quotes followed by the prompt message inside the double quotes and followed by what is the button you want to display this is an another alert that you can see and let's execute and see how it works you can see that this alert dialog box contain a title addition and the prompt message followed by two buttons and when you click on yes this two number gets added so this is this is one type of alert dialog box thank you for watching this video if you like this video give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel